Welcome back. Welcome back. We are here, as we promised you, with the talk of the day, the discussion of the day. My name is once again is Sankara Kayesu, and I'm here uh, to discuss the marriage thing. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? remain single, like the statistics now say, that people get as old as 50 years, they are still single. That is what statistics say. We are here with the two phenomenal, two great people here to discuss this. Uh, we have owner Halai, that is the Ulem Super, eh? and we are here also with Muchi Muchi. They are not new into these platforms, but they will introduce themselves. Muchi Seme, everything about you, what you do, how your social media handles, and then your view in life in general, not just on this subject, your view in life in general. We are going to start with the lady. Uh, well, a very delightful morning to all of you. Mm -hmm. My name is Ouna Rosalind Halai. Mm -hmm. I'm a student at Karatina University, a final year student pursuing a bachelor's degree in criminology, criminal justice and public safety. Yes. Social media handles? Social media handles Ouna Rosalind Halai in Facebook, Ben's Legal in Twitter. And oh. also, I must say that uh, I'm still hopeful and trusting the Lord that before the year ends, You'll I'll be, be graduating. A I'll be oh, given powers to, to read more books. <laughs> 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 you know, a potential employer must, might be watching somewhere. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay. Yes. Muchi Muchi. Wagwan. Is Muchi Muchi the name on the idea to do my number? Uh, <laughs> not officially, but officially, very well. Then in the process. You are going to change it. Somebody did so last week. You remember, Zach Kinutia, the CAS Sports. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he was called, he was a leader at the University of Nairobi some time back. I think uh, he was the leader, then uh, David, uh, David somebody, then Babu got him. Now, he was called Zakaria uh, Kinutia. Now, he did away with Zakaria thing, now he's Zach Kinutia. In the ID, and the certificates and everything. Are you in the, the same process? In the same process. Uh, what is your official name? If you official name? I want to Oh, you are a Tachoma. I blame him, Sani. Tell us <laughs> other things. Tell us other things you want us to, or you uh, feel safe to really that we can boy. know. Uh, Muchi Samuel Muchi, uh, businessman, entrepreneur, producer, director, uh, son of the most, I come a and uh, but of course the ladies man kama kawa kama dawa <laughs> na umesema view al maisha manzee kuomoka ni lazima na sita fadhali au sio are you a gospel artist because ni maisha kutaja so many things about god uh, i believe in god like my strength is the most i am nothing without him and i acknowledge that every single day i wake up manze. so uh, how i live my my pastor kadha ataleta beef kidogo but are you are you attending those churches who say is kuomoka ni lazima vile umesema the pastor who said that uh, we don't want poor people in this church very if true kwa yeah, church lazima uomoke or something lazima like mina kuna watu wana they fall in love with poverty na yeah. if i kuwa evil man we were not born to be poor in this earth we were okay. born to be kingdom seekers and kingdom fulfillers now on the topic of the day before we leave you when are you getting married? Ah, uh, <laughs> you're not my bro. Yes, sir. Do one, eh, hey, you concept of marriage, like, let's move on to marriage, we're talking about marriage, ni 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 to apply in this yes. generation and yes. this time. So, me, I'm going to, eh, me, I'm going to start with Zango, I'm going to be doing cheesy, I'm going to do. Una, 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 kama yezi ni ni. Ah, na sa mangendi this life never say never. Ju uh, unaweza kuwa na kiburi fulani ni amu ati sita yoa alafu kesho eh napatana na the love of my life uko na hizo plans by the way uko na hizo plans kwa as me plan yangu kwa I know I'll have a family mm -hmm. but not under the marriage aspect but I'm not also sure ile ya si yake at 100% at intoa ama sitaoa mimi uh, najua I'll have a family uh, najua nitaomoka vile itakaa mimi sijaa najua unaona naweza kuwa na mababy mama all over this town you never know so we have known from you that uh, <laughs> let us come back to Rose. <laughs> <laughs> from the analysis, <laughs> let us come back to Rose. Rose, you are a finalist. You are doing your, you are in your final year. Yeah, yeah. You are now level in. See the deadline. Yeah. 
Oh, are you visioning siku, 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 it? Are, are, are you seeing you? Are you seeing Rose married someday, maybe? Yeah, I'm seeing myself as a, a mother. Mm. <laughs> well, seeing myself as a, I don't know when, <laughs> but I'll have a family. So Liako is a jibiwa. A jibiwa. But but is she's coming to what I want? Yeah, Pia, I'm not going something like that. I'm not going to go because at final year. At least mm -hmm. you should serve, uh, if, if it was now the traditional, normal mm -hmm. uh, trajectory, mm -hmm. you could have had somebody, maybe you've, you've mm -hmm. uh, started talking about or to na wana lini, to na nini. Mi sinanga manual kwa life. Yeah. Yeah, sinanga manual. Vile tu imeji leta unachukua hivu? As in, I always welcome the way life uh, gives itself to me day each uh, mm. as time passes with a lot of possi positivity. Like I'm one person who exhibits positivity in life and I don't give myself deadline, I don't give myself uh, instructions. You want I to be just as leave free. everything for you, God, I'm you, a free person. You want to be as free as possible. Yeah, I'm, from, I'm free. Now from both of you, it is clear that uh, marriage is not in your diary right now from both of you. And it is the case for the majority of youth in Kenya. Science say that 74% uh, of youths in the university now are on Ogopa story of marriage. On Ogopa, eh, like our, uh, our fikiri. And both males, especially males, both gender I mean, and especially males are not talking about it. For the early ladies are about 60, 64%. So uh, why do you think, still on you, Rose, mm -hmm. why do you think youths fear marriage? While it's an institution that was instituted by God, and people get children and everything out of the marriage. Uh, to, be, to begin with, you, when you visualize the society that we are living in, uh, above 50% of the marriages are leading to divorce. And mm -hmm. that's why most of the people sit down and question the institution of marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, you find that when most of the people who are already in marriage are not enjoying it, then you ask yourself, then why should you get in there when there's nothing to be happy about in it? Mm -hmm. So people just get what they want. That's why you find there are more single mothers and people who are doing parenting as a soul, as a person. Can we get personal with you? Why do you, what reservations do you have about marriage, you as Rose? Uh, my fears about marriage, first of all, is to fall out in love with oh. the person I'm married to. Uh, yeah. There is that possibility. There's a possibility because casually uh, I've been loving people, but then I change. And, and loving them. Hey, I start and loving them as time goes by and I no longer love them and it so becomes it's, it's you who has been causing this problem. So, <laughs> so <laughs> for a partner I will not want it to get to that extent where I have unloved them or I no longer love them anymore. And then you have a life, uh, like you have kids with them, you have kids with him, yeah, you are I legally married in really church <laughs> and then you have unloved them. Yes. We will see how to sort this problem. Muchi, yeah. tell us why you think this problem is rampant. Why uh, don't people want to get married? I won't put it on, on one reason. Nitasema reasons ni mob sana. Kuna people who know themselves and, and, and they know what marriage, do, marriage works on principles. Mm. And they want to understand on how the principles, uh, like they already know of how the principle, what the principles are required. Na awe nye wanajua wezi fulfill those principles. Kuna wale wenye wana hepa commitment. Kuna yeah. wale wameona vile wazazi wao wamekaa wataki wa maisha. So there is a lot of reasoning behind why the youth in general fear marriage. Yeah. But I feel the most important should be wewe kujijua as, as a man. So uh, ukeza kujijua na uelewe what is required of you in this life and this society. And then would you put in the aspect of marriage, can I fulfill what this woman wants, what this family requires of me, and what is... So what you need to do is to say, I'm going to tell you about it. I'm going to tell you about it. It's normal. It's, 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 normal. it's normal. So I think in that process, we can come back to Rose. Mm -hmm. He's talking about Mtu Labda Ajelewi. Mtu Labda Bado Ajelewi Ajui. 
uh, what do I need in life? So hiyo ndio inafanya agope kuolewa. Yeah. Don't you think akiolewa huyo jamaa atampea direction sasa in life? Ampe direction amwambie eh uh, sasa hivi ndio nataka uh, to fuate hii direction especially you ladies. Uh, one thing is when two people are together in the union of marriage yes. and have uh, signed that legal contract have uh, been united and they have united your life still these people are different and complete persons mm. so as a person for you to become the other person's best news or the other person's best person you need to have known yourself so that there's no baggage of me uh, in marriage now i'm trying to learn myself very true and i realize that i'm not the best person for you or you're not the best person for me that's why there's an urge to prepare yourself do you have friends who are married friends or regiments yes my friend at 23 got married what are the experiences uh, do they have good news to bring home at the moment it's still her first year in marriage so everything, everything is, is still wow. very blissful yes everything is amazing do you admire that life now no, I, I don't. Life. I don't, because but as, she's as bringing back good news. So she's far. bringing good news. There's another person who's bringing bad news. You know, I don't <laughs> have one. <laughs> so it's becoming complicated. <laughs> Muchi, now you can finish for yeah. us your story about why you think people fear marriage. Uh, reasons ni more, bro. Mm -hmm. Jo, mm -hmm. ni kipige sabu. Ni kona boys pale mtaani. Uh, Kicho yake focus yake number 1 ni nitatoka hadi kwa hizi streets so naende kwa ile vile atatoka kwa hizi streets ana mipango ya kupata demo 1 2 3 and then there is a aspect pia ya kupendwa unajua sio lazima uko kwa marriage ndio upendwe uh -huh. na mademo kunje wameamua kutupenda tukue kwa marriage tusikue kwa marriage so <laughs> if you are getting the love na ujaolewa kwa nini hasa u go through the whole process ya kuolewa unanipata i think this is why god doesn't want <laughs> people to get into intimate relationship before marriage so babu wewe unaonja vitu watu wako married wanaonja <laughs> and you are still not married so una stay in jail for very long eh yeah. <laughs> 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 you argue with that point of view it, it makes a lot of sense but bado ukiangalia the life you are living right now how many people do you know walikuwa virgins wakienda kuolewa hata wao wenyewe wako married oh pia walikuwa na virginity squeeze ni tricky Unanipata. especially kwa wanaume exactly how many people do you think are virgin by the time they get to to, to graduate especially men uh, do you think they are men Nairobi hata ni very very few like how do you know like here ni guess work na piga but ah mimi na piga tu virgin men at the time they graduate from the university mjua je mtu ni virgin Better new. Hey, you are a very valid ah, point of view because sababu sisi jua juu mimi na base on stories nimesikia. Hey. Na wanaume wengi ujichoacha nimefanya nimefanya na at the end of the day agenda <laughs> kufanya anything. Unanipata? But bado pia kuna aspect ya yeah. unaangalia tu unajua una miongo usanii ni kiocha jamii. Mm -hmm. The music we sing, the mm -hmm. music, the content we produce, like everything yeah. that we do is a reflection of who we are. Yeah. Yes. So and the content that is there right now ni mm -hmm. tuchape kitu, tufanye kitu, to yeah. like there's so much on that that ukijaribu ku get the data of wenye wamefanya na wenye wajafanya eh wenye wamefanya ni wengi bro <laughs> wengi sana clearly so much before we get off you would you encourage people to get married kwa unajijua when they become Juhu. when become of right age marriage kuna aspect fulani ya security na growth that i come with this other life kwa sababu the moment you identify the person who is meant for you na uko willing to accommodate their wrongs and their rights and uh, like ushamjua na unajua is a fire to take pamoja mm. ni kweni kubai kweni kuzuri mm. so the moment you identify that and you're willing to take that journey that's i feel, i believe that's one of the best journeys you can pursue in life because babu i know of people like my grandfathers my uncles my aunts who have been happily married for years now as much as kuna challenges 1 2 3 mm. wame survive through the storm na wako sahi bado wameshika na mkono over 50 years over 60 years of marriage mm. but bado tu mimi hata mimi mwenyewe home like i like kwetu my mom and dad wako that close at the end of my dad passed like a few months ago yes. in peace man eh? but sasa yeye ku achana ilifanya nione aspect ingine ya marriage juu because they are both christians so kuna certain principles in marriage kama uta fulfill as ju marriage na come na submission ina come na responsibilities for both genders so to spoil what these responsibilities are before the marriage begin kwa hii journey yetu it's either mmoja wetu atachoka 
ama mwingine atakuwa na site kaende over the board mm. after mse mwenye ta fulfill the responsibilities mm. that zinafaa kufulfilliwa so the moment mse ana, like you understand yourself and you know what you want in this life na upate mse anajielewa na anajua kenye anataka you merge and decide to work together you All agree that marriage is a beautiful thing if wow. it's done if it's working we want to get the view of uh, halai and i do think uh, marriage is people should get married when they get the right age and all that yeah yeah um, people should should get married um, one person who believes in love as a beautiful concept and love is the foundation of marriage so i would encourage people to get married people to love each other people to grow together and before they get into marriage to avoid uh, people breaking up in the first year of marriage or the marriage not ending up working well i think uh, people should first understand themselves they should go through a journey of self realization which is very vital loving yourself understanding who god says you are establishing a relationship with god before you invite the other party now to be able to give them the best no we know we are we are all on the same page we agree that marriage is good yeah we, we agree marriage is beautiful it's but beautiful. now there's a problem people fear it and mm. uh, we, uh, we i got some from my research i got some reasons why people fear marriage and on the top of the list Mm-hmm. is uh, economics people are, <laughs> people are crying and they don't get commitment bro economics is a pesa ya bring up a family uh-huh. and all that uh-huh. i want your suggestion on how we can solve this uh, don't you think uh woe to mtu mwenye pia anafanya kazi ama wewe leo na mtu anafanya kazi aspect ya wewe ni nani juu mimi kama boys naweza kuona dai wife akukaa tu kejani ati akifi like mimi nikifika ni yame oshaviombo ni yame fanya nini like sidi kuna pressure mob weke jani kule watu hii hiyo ndo shughuli yako usiende mm. hustle mm. na bado pia mimi zamani naweza kuwa na dayanambishi ya zuma na woman mwenye anajijua na kona goals na kona visions na vitu anataka ku achieve in a life so stay the economics na come through in the aspect of mimi kama na dai wife wa kijani pia mimi niko willing kufanya everything that is there to be required ya mimi kumweka kijani mm. nisikuje kumletea alama ya ati yo leo kuna rent leo kuna nini si niliamua kae kijani mm. pia mimi nibebe mzigo ile niliamua kuibe kuibeba mm. kama ni demo ku hustle na kufanya 1 2 the moment before we sign that marriage contract we decide what kind of life do you want to live mm. tunataka kuishi maisha 1 2 3 are we living that life right now no so what do we do to move from this life to that life what role will you play what role will i play the designer is square t ni mimi sina do ya kulea familia mm. unanipata we have mm. decided to do this mm. tubebe mzigo wenye tumeamua kube kubeba uh, uh, ros yes uh, shida ni kwenu ni nyinyi watu wanaume wanaume wanaogopa kuwaoa because mm-hmm. you will be like a burden and you know you are a multiplying burden you are not just a burden on your own <laughs> you are a burden when you analeta watu pia duniani so mm-hmm. watu pia wana kuwa burdens how do you think this can be solved Okay uh let me start here from my view I don't think the issue is the issue has become economy because people have entered into accidental marriages most of the people have not gotten ready to get into marriage most of the people have just slided into marriage they have found themselves in an institution Mare. that is not even legally bind oh, no no because come to come we stay has been very rampant in the mm. society that you are living in So you move in with your boyfriend alisema, you act married to alisema to get children not all marriages start with will you marry me zingine zinaanza na baba ameniambia nirudi penye nililangia no that way it will find the other person has not prepared yes. and is not uh, probably nini economic has no financial security or economically stable yeah. uh, bringing up such a marriage issues of burdening the other person become a burden because they don't hustle they don't have a job mm-hmm. now comes in yeah so the so only way to solve that is when people will you know get ready for this thing before getting in let's avoid the accidental marriages let's avoid just uh, sliding well, into the, things the, the most causes of accidental seen. marriages maybe ni members of mapema and expected yeah, yeah. members of totoni because zingine wana wengine parents wengine wanasema rudi kwa baba yao mtoto true eh wende kwake na baba yao mtoto babla bla ni student, student. eh yeah, who doesn't have anything so the best way is to avoid uh, doing vitu za adults before you are yeah, yeah, yeah. married eh? uh, sexual relations are yes. preserved for the people in marriage so if you're not married you abstain is that practical muchi 
Uh, it is it's if you are a principled person in the sense of you understand there's self discipline and there's control mm -hmm. and you are able to exercise that. Mm. But sasa hii dunia tunaishi sasa hii ziko. Are you encouraging people to use contraceptives? You know, if contraceptives, the original name of contraceptives are family planning. <laughs> what family are you planning? Si unakula kitu bro. I don't have a family. Asi ata mambo na family planning, umeamua kukula kitu. Kama unakula kitu, be prepared yeah, kama naikula raw kuna uzazi ina come through nayo kuna yeah. magonjo ina come through nayo like to every action there is a reaction so mm. tukiamua ku take this line of yeah mm. tunakula kitu na mm. tunafollow ku family planning na contraceptives and doing everything that is required pia mimi maisha haita nipata na mshtuko ya hata ikifanyika it's in one of those rare cases ya yeah, ilibant haikuenda vile ilikuwa inafaa kuenda but for most of like for the majority of the data that is there people who use family planning and contraceptives their rate of uh, kupata magonjo na kupata mimba is lower than for people who are doing it consistently on a raw basis so to, to go back on your question ya yeah, is it practical ku issue on abstinence ni tumeamua ku glorify na ku praise nini na life kama kila siku asubuhi kiamka ni genge ton eh, ngoma za wasupa na nini na nini <laughs> trust me during the day ni wasupa utakuwa na saka ni kitu utakuwa na tafuta vile utafanya 1 2 3 so ukiamua ni this kind of nadhani we react to this life kabla ku live vile inafaa kuishi juu unajua kiamka na una consume kenye tu imekuja utakuwa tu kenye umejipatia mm. na ukiamko uamue siku yangu na control Kenya na feed kuanzia kwa tumbo kwa kichwa kwa roho like kila kitu ni mimi na moni nini naingia utaweza control Kenya unataka ku control we will we will meet one day and discuss abstinence because it's like now no where in the dictionary of the youth today <laughs> people are <laughs> opting for it was it used to be a b c a is Let's abstinence is 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 but yeah. abstinence is like is is getting totally out of the it's, way is zingine zinakuwa Eh hey, people wanakuja kwa hizi B na C na hizi zingine but that is stopping for another day. The 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 other thing like in that order which make people fear married according to science mm -hmm. is a uh, bad experience from former marriages. <laughs> like you look people who have broken up like oh, you remember the Machakos thing that happened to Oh ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember those yeah. 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 so what wanaogopa ni kama wakiwa committed to mm -hmm. marriage then labda mtu atakutreatwa bad all you saw you are jirani being beaten I really condemn I really condemn uh, gender based violence, violence and domestic violence they should not be there but there are people who fear marriage because they saw somebody being mistreated so they end up miss it all lewa kama in your life or some people are even experience them experiencing them from their own parents yeah. maybe the parents fight eh? so you say if we come even the ndoa iko then mimi sio ni kiolewa naona naomba usaidie mtu kama huyu start with euros mtu kama huyu mwenye anasema mimi vitu nimeona kwa wenye wanaoana mimi haitakuwa hivi unaweza saidia mtu kama huyo aje kwanza kabisa this thing Uh, for example let's talk of parents mm -hmm. you have witnessed the marriage of your parents your dad and your mom not moving on smoothly it is not something that is ideal for you you have developed what you call uh, childhood emotional bridges which have made you uh, so transactional and goal oriented because probably your parents were so tough on you and so strict on you and therefore you are someone who is uh, more project and goal oriented than someone who can uh, raise and become a relationship person for example most of the youths view relationship as projects they want it to be a goal once achieved they want to move to the next and that has uh, made them not to stay together in marriage for too long for example when i get married at 23 mm. and i'm supposed to stay for 80 years mm. that is 57 years in marriage mm. and I'm a transactional person mm. because I have not dealt with myself before getting into marriage mm -hmm. therefore I'm being affected with the emotional bridges that I had as a child growing up this will make me uh, by the time the second or the third year ends or the seventh year I want now this project to come to an end and move on to the next thing mm. nashanga kwa ni aishi because I'm one person I want to go to the next thing mm. so marriage is too long for for me to survive the 57 years are too point. much for me to survive that is another That's in fact it was fear. the third 
it was at that point people fear committed long term commitment but let's yeah. get to much first I, I can combine both your commitment na kenya mesema uh -huh. in the aspect of uh, marriage ndio mm. imekam tumepandana we've acknowledged that we are changing human beings each and every single day we wake up so lazima uelewe kila siku mse anaamka anaamka either greater than he was ama lesser than he was yesterday mm -hmm. depending on who he is or who she is mm -hmm. so wewe kuelewa hivi unafaa ujue kama mse ana change kila siku mm -hmm. kuna siku ata change aache kuwa ule mse mwenye nilipatana na yeye 5 years ago 10 mm -hmm. years ago 15 years ago mm -hmm. so the real question is am i willing to bear with this person as, as he change na mimi hapo sana niko na beef na marriage the church <laughs> na christianity imeka ni marriage till death do us part yes that yeah. is the vow but if i kwa hivyo marriage ni nafa kwa ni tupendane hadi moyo wetu acho acho okay <laughs> juu ah, let me let me explain where i'm coming from Mm -hmm. I believe marriage is a source of peace, source of growth, source of happiness for us. Like we are being combined to be one person. Mm -hmm. So for us to be one person, lazima kukuwa na aspect ya communication ya wewe unajua everything about me na mimi najua everything about you. Ndio tukikuja kusimama mahali as one, hakuna kitu utasikia kutoka nje ikushtue kunihusu. Mm -hmm. Na mimi hakuna kitu nitasikia nje inishtue kunihusu wewe because we've come together as one people. But sasa tumekuja pamoja. Mimi mm -hmm. nimechange. Kwanza sasa hivi live in a world ya we are the first generation ya ku consume information this fast like ukiangalia in previous society gazeti mara wapigiwe drum mara moshi like information mm. ilikuwa ina take time before it became us so we are consuming a lot to a point of hadi si wenyewe as sana sana as kenyans ni ngumu sana kujua si ni nani when are you a religion when you muislam ama when you christo when kabila yako when you mkikuyu when you mjaluo when ni nani mm. are you a kenyan like mm. the nation in itself uh, like there's so many things that influence who we are design ya kusimama na kitu moja kusema i am this na mimi nimesimamia hii unapata tumechukua a little bit of something from all over the place now if you look back on our culture design ya like the african people marriage was a concept of the man was the head na angeamua kuwa na mabibi mbao anaweza wakulisha wote anaweza wapatia chakula wote na watoto wake yeah. mpatie ni mabibi vile anada anadai you want to be a kukudanja mm -hmm. unanipata but sasa sasa hii marriage vile imeka ni one man one woman i want to problematize what you you, are, you stand for like mm -hmm. adi moja wetu wa choke yeah. moja kichoka na moja bado anapenda utasaidia sasa are you willing are you willing so yangu ni are you willing kuwa mzigo in that marriage design ya umse kila siku na kama na nitusi analala na wasi wengine anipatie heshima anipendi in the name of kwa sababu marriage ilisema till death do us part do you believe in love i believe in love but yeah, not, somebody can only, love somebody only Christ despite. will love us eternally mtu mwingine anakuambia i love you till i die like hiyo yako na Mungu ndani yake kwa maana Mungu ni wao you are take about this new concept which is bringing up mm -hmm. until we get married till one of us gets tired mm. i i don't think it's an ideal thing but it is the realest it is what it is because uh, when i'm most needy in a relationship and i'm the one who loves you more and probably you have uh and loved me after a while then there's no need for me to keep in there when there's no peace there's no love all those foundations of the marriage and no longer there but don't you so think it is don't you think it, it is selfish to only think about your feelings you don't Feel the, the, the you don't person, take into account the feelings of the other person like mm -hmm. um you decide that you no longer want me let's take the case for i really need to use the case for alfred mutu and the, that other lady <laughs> the, lady, the lady <laughs> looked like she mm -hmm. wanted to be out of that marriage but the governor looked like she really he, he really, really wanted to stay with mm -hmm. to an extent that you saw that lady at her at his birthday party yesterday mm -hmm when he was turning 51 mm -hmm. the lady was there in fact lady ndio alimlisha keka alifanya hizo zote so mm -hmm. that friendship remain because this man feels like we i still love you you don't need to go mm -hmm. and then you've decided that because ni mechoka mm -hmm. i can move out why don't you take into consideration the feelings of this other man i'm taking it into person. consideration because nimejiuliza kwa nini nikutese kupendi sikufeel na feel u brother mwingine maisha yangu iko kwako iko kwa huyu mwingine tena so kwa nini niendeleshe a life of at ndio tusemekane we had a good happy marriage that we overcame the storm na the storm it may last more than the marriage itself i make sense kwangu yeah marriage is peace marriage is love marriage mm. is happiness mm. kama yuko kwa hiyo marriage na imeisha mm. buda 
tembea wewe tembea <laughs> life ni kubwa kwa nini tujipatie pressure na vile life is heavy and that's why it's important to love someone who you are compatible with someone who will understand you day in day out and mm. will seek to learn you each day so that kitu about you is kuje kambo in the mm. event of marriage mm. no na kama mko in a relationship ama in marriage mumefika the seventh year na realize hey there's something about this man or there's something about this woman that i don't like you should uh, at least get married or marry someone who is ready to seek to learn you day in day out someone who is ready to learn who you are and who you are not before we get to you, to you to add on that uh -huh. kuna aspect bado ya if we stick together and we are having problems in our marriage remember the children who are there ndio maana sisi kama watu hii ni ngumu sana ku consider marriage as the first thing in our lives kwa nini tunaangalia vile wasi wengine wamekuwa kiishi mm -hmm. so kama tuna picture hii maisha wasi wamekuwa kiishi ndio maisha na ningoje in marriage <laughs> why the hell should i do it <laughs> unanipata mm. so kuna well, aspect ya protect your children waelewe well, marriage is for love as much as the tough times may come yes they may come tumeshindwa kuzi handle so how do we approach that we peacefully agree yeah we'll do this in a convenient legal way yeah watoto watabaki na amani sisi tutabaki na amani na maisha itaendelea sasa hii aspect ya titungojea di today bro eh tunalaani watu maisha basa basa okay point number four is uh, freedom it's like people want to be free they, yeah. they say that uh ilo pingula maisha that that ring eh, is like a lifetime handcuff that is making you mm. you I can see you have one i know that one is just an ornament <laughs> an ornament <laughs> <laughs> but people people want to be free like if you're married especially ladies if mm -hmm. you're married to somebody then that person will be controlling your life the whole in fact even men will be controlling your life the whole of your life and this is why why people fear marriage they want to be going out when they want coming back when they want yeah. eat what they want at what they, at any time they want do what they want you're <laughs> simple bro achana na marriage sio yako marriage sio yako come on you have that line of thinking because yes. marriage is based on principles and philosophies mm -hmm. na principle ya marriage ni me and you are coming together be, to be one so kama mimi ndio tuna come together not to be free eh hey. so kama ni, your life is my life and your life is, my life is your life kama i'm not willing for that aspect that nataka kuwa free at nikuje vile nataka ni fanye vile nataka majority of yeah. you see my according to research <laughs> including us eh but so unambia ros pia si your life hey. so, that kama hivyo unataka usio yeah, si ubaki ukuwe free vile uko wewe peke yako ukuingia nge senyu unatoka ukuje senyu unataka ufanye vi ukule senyu unataka but aspect ya marriage ni lazima i be considerate of the other person yes i want to do one two three but we are together in this babe unaona tufanya je story the elephant in the room muchi is that this is why they fear marriage so how can you advise them what can you tell them Ay, bro sio lazima tu wae unajua pia inaka so when you wanna go eh. because of that reason wa chana na chana so bro mm. baby unasema he who finds a good who who finds a wife has find has found a good thing yes so ni ule mwenye anapata sio ati lazima upate ule mwenye amepata bibi amepata kitu mzuri mm. kitu mzuri bro <laughs> your opinion on this on this freedom thing first uh freedom to me is something that is very fundamental. Mm. Yes, because I have learned that marriage is confining in mm. a way mm. because there are no more individual decisions. Mm. Uh, and this is the reason as to why people in marriage have ended up not, you know, uh, loving mm. the entire thing. Mm. You you are a party a party man, I'm a church girl. Mm. You want to go out with your friends. I want to take you with me to my inn for prayers or at the Vincenzo. So it's a, a drunkard for prayers. Yes, <laughs> you 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 not for that idea. So you end up feeling con I end up feeling confined because there's no freedom. Mm. This other person wants me to do this and this is what I want to do. Mm. So that's what people fear most. Mm. You have your friends. Your partner does not like those friends. So you're not free to entangle to uh, catch up with those friends you have now to leave them because of your partner mm. and so i think what this i would advise so ni afanye mimi freedom is afanye mimi kitu tafanya wewe si ni party boy tafuta party girl ndio mkisema ni sherehe ni sherehe mkisema ni kanisa ni kanisa ros still on you we mm -hmm. say parting thought our time is really much spent we say parting thought on those who still fear marriage because of these four reasons we mm -hmm. have uh, we have noted down mm -hmm. would you tell them to just still keep still keep off as much you was say 
I will not advise people to keep off, to keep off marriage mm -hmm. because this of your any reason. Mm -hmm. no, because of any reason, mm -hmm. I will not advise anyone to keep off marriage. Mm -hmm. I would advise people uh, to just work on, you know, being vocal about mm -hmm. the things they want around their partner. I would advise people to be much freer with each other, to talk about any stupid thing, any stupid decision, to table everything. That way they get to understand each other. Mm -hmm. And when they understand each other, it becomes a, a smooth line for them. Muche, this is your camera. Spew my is parting shot, my parting shot. So, ndayakaji, ndayakaji sasa. Nadaikuwe simple na impactful, yeah. This is your life. Eleo, in this life, kuna principles. That is your marriage peke yake. In everything that you do, kuna principles. So, nikuelewa, am I willing to take the necessary cost to partake. Kama ni kuliva as a single man, elo kuliva as a single man, ina kama na garama kadha. But the most important thing ni your peace, your happiness, and your growth. So, marriage, hapa tunongia ni kama ni lazima. Kijana, siyo lazima uwe, usiekwe pressure na society at uwe. It's a good thing kwa mwenye napata, but siyo lazima. Na kwa hayo machache, I go by the name El Muchi Muchi. Make sure meni follow pale Twitter, Instagram, social media zote at El Muchi Muchi. Shukra. Marriage was an institution that was instituted by God himself. So Muchi should not deceive you <laughs> to keep off, keep off marriage. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. We have all agreed that it is a beautiful thing. So if you can do it, and you know, we learned the other time that love is a principle. It's not a feeling. So it should not be like fixed by, by feeling that when I feel in love, when I feel out of love, what the <laughs> principle that I'm going to get married, whether in love or not, <laughs> whether in season or not, stay there. So it's been good having you. This is White 54. Keep on the conversation is going on on our social media platform at White 54. Till we meet on Wednesday, and I think tomorrow, there are also programs that are still going on now. But for one in the morning, let's meet tomorrow, Wednesday, and every other weekday. My name is still Sankara Kayesu. Salute.